The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that after the closure of the Su-30 production line, additional production capabilities have been planned at its Nasik aircraft division, and it will be utilized as an additional Tejas production line that will cater to the export market, while the two existing production lines at its Bangalore facility will be exclusively used to meet the demands of 16 fighter jets per year for the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. Hindustan Aeronautics is looking to establish logistics base in Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia and Sri Lanka, in order to grab orders for the light combat aircraft. Hindustan Aeronautics has responded to the request for information issued by the US Navy for a carrier-based trainer jet, and the NP-5 Naval Tejas Mark I trainer will be used for demonstration to the US Navy. The NP-5 Naval Tejas Mark I trainer will conduct its first flight in April, and it will also be used to carry out off-nominal landing trials at the shore-based test facility in Goa, under which the aircraft will mimic landings in bad weather conditions, and will collect data on the stress points like rear fuselage and landing gears, and these studies will lead to design changes that could be required for the 26-ton twin-engine deck-based fighter jet to last its operational lifespan. Hindustan Aeronautics has been assigned to develop a strength in front and main landing gears, and an arrestor hook system for the twin-engine deck-based fighter program. Officials have said that the first Rafale squadron of the Indian Air Force will reach full operational strength in exactly three months from now, and a trilateral military exercise involving India, France and the United Arab Emirates is also being planned, which shows India's deepening relationship with Gulf countries. The A-330 refuelers of UAE Air Force will twice refuel the three Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force that are scheduled to arrive by the end of this month along with another set of three more fighters in March, and seven more fighters in April. After flying in an Airbus A330 refueler, the Chief of Defence Staff has stated that these combat manoeuvres and refueling missions under this exercise shows the capability of Indian pilots that they can quickly operationalise any fighter jet. In the ongoing multilateral anti-submarine warfare exercise Sea Dragon 2021 in Guam, tough competition is being witnessed between the P-8 maritime aircraft teams of US, India, Japan, Canada and Australia, during which the aircraft have been deployed to track a number of simulated targets, while the final mission is to track and find the US Navy's Los Angeles-class nuclear submarine USS Chicago. A Dragon Belt trophy will also be given to the highest scoring country in the Sea Dragon 2021. The Central Reserve Police Force will soon deploy 14 micro UAV A410, which is a vertical takeoff and landing small remotely piloted aircraft used for quick deployment from confined locations with an endurance of 60 minutes. They will provide autonomous operation with a digital encrypted communication link from a range of 5 kilometers, and its high-definition camera and aerial imaging system will be used for surveillance operations. A Chinese government survey ship is currently operating in the Indian Ocean, and is carrying out a search pattern west of Sumatra, and this same vessel was accused of operating without broadcasting its position in Indonesian territorial waters last week and these survey ships are suspected of operating underwater gliders in the Indian Ocean, to map the seabed for expanding submarine operations of the Chinese Navy. Omar